so excited to be here. I'm so in love with everything, like plants and butterflies and people and the sun. I'm just in love. I wanted to talk about um, being adored. I was listening to a workshop and Abraham mentioned being adored and it's in reference to bringing in a relationship, which is where I'm at. I would just so enjoy having that partner with me. And so that morning, I just focused on being adored, maybe for a couple of minutes. It was light because I thought I need to really know how to do it better. And I'd start the next, I don't know. So anyway, (laughs) I went to the beach and there was this guy jogging along. And then the next thing I knew, he said, hi. And the next thing I knew, he was right beside me. And then we were talking and it was just so funny and he was absolutely adoring me but through the conversation I learned that he was married so I thought okay yes he's adoring but no not someone that I want to you know say any more than hello to so then that night same thing this guy was so interested in me we had a long conversation and he said he wasn't married but absolutely no one I would even want to talk to again, although he called again and again. And so I'm just wondering, is there something to add to thinking of being adored or is that my own vibration? That's, that's, is there something I can adjust so that I'm bringing someone in that's adoring me, but adoring me where I can mutually adore him and we can have a relationship. (laughs) The mutual adoring you talk about is starts from your side as you had this ease about adoring and wanting to have the experience of someone else adoring you. We want to bring this to your attention that you actually felt so adored by yourself. You felt this energy of uh, this adorable energy about yourself. You found se- yourself very adorable at the moment and then you were ready to put more mirrors to reflect that back to you. And those more mirrors actually started reflecting back to you one at a time. The only trouble here was that as the adoring was reflecting back to you, you did not stay in a vibration of adoring. And that's why all these other things started popping in. You then started thinking about all these extra things that were showing up. In other words, inevitably, you will have interaction with someone who gives you this reflection of adoring and then that adoring brings back to you and then more you interact then you start seeing other things but the dominating place of adoring was not as important to you anymore otherwise you would continue feeling adored in other words you shifted your attention from your own adorability to something else to some more technical things about relationships yes that is true i did i i Yes, (laughs) Yes, <laughs> I switched it and I just and I kept it there. I didn't continue the focus of, of being adored. As you go more into this place of interaction back and forth is to understand that the fact that you have this experience of being adored, it is not something that's now stays there and it's active there but that you can find that sense and integrate that into the conversation. Understanding that adoring is vibration of answer. It's manifested experience reflection back to you. And then as you go into the question about next thing and the next thing, you don't go immediately into these questions, all of those questions at a time, but in between the layer of one question, you put the vibration of adoring one other question and then a a vibration of adoring and another question and a vibration of adoring and that's how adoring intertwines into your questions and then you will get with a little bit of practice to see that that next person you don't even have to worry about there will be this mutual adoration even through the questions with no particular supervision thank you this is perfect i I love that the question and then adoring and then the question and then integrate adoring this is thank you it is always about question answer dance it is always about having a layer of this and having a layer of that that gives you this beautiful steadiness as the life partner that you desire to have to come in and adore you, you also want this person to be that stubborn mirror too. So there is that opportunity, even in initial places, to see. You see, 
Oftentimes, when people interact with others, they would find to see how many answers they can see in a mirror reflection. And while that is important that you can see those answers, it is more important for you that you have steadiness in your question answer reflection coming through this person because this person is someone you will if you want it to be your partner give quite some attention we thought this was a brilliant brilliant most forward thinking conversation set of conversations we have experienced in the forum like this and flowing through costa in appreciation of all of that, those questions and more and more to come through your own receiving mechanisms and in forums like this for now, very satisfyingly, that's it.